Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Here's Trek in the World. You can see a very striking box of all the different monuments around the world, etc. You're going to open it up. You're going to have some advertisements here. A little picture that for the, the Trek of the National Parks, which I've already reviewed. You're going to have a rule book, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. The board, which I'll pull out in a moment. You're going to have a nice little bag for the game. You're going to have a game trays in here, which was kind of a surprise. I wasn't really expecting this as I was going through it, but it is a nice little thing here. It says Trekking the World on it. Can you see that a little bit? And then you can have a spot for all your things. Uh, it has some just regular cues, but these are nice light. You're going to have your victory point markers up here, which are nice. These are the little player boards. They have like a linen finish on them. It, they, they're kind of floppy, but you just set them down on the board anyway. Uh, Double-sided for different players. These are the one in each color, what the walkers will look like. You can see as they're going through. They're all a little bit different, so they all have a different little look to them based on the color. You can have these map tiles, which will be face down, worth a certain amount of victory points. Now these are the most pop, uh, the most popular. So if you have certain things, but these are hard cardboard. So these are very nice with different colors attached to them. So you're going to have your player cards. These will be the cards that you'll have. You can see the back of them. Um, these will be the uh, little power cards, journey cards as they call them, that you'll have in the game. Uh, but these are really just different colors. There's different icons on them for game purposes and numbers, etc. They'll have a nice linen finish to them. They, they feel really good. And this is kind of the brunt of it. So these are the locations that you're going to go to. Uh, you do have some reference cards and a score sheet in here if you wanted to use that. Uh, but for the most part, these are very beautiful. So you can see the different places. Taj Mahal and it has uh, a little bit of history on the back of it, you know, and where it's located. So you can learn a lot. So what we do is when we go to a destination and we learn about it uh, by reading the back of it. So my kids are learning a lot by that. So components are really good. The insert is fantastic. This pulls right out when you're playing the game. So you want to have these near you. Very, very good. Uh, last thing is let's take a look at the board. So the board has an odd shape. So it has a rounded edge through here. You can see the where you're going. Everything is listed here. Uh, the player turns are listed here. End of game trigger is how the game ends. So everything you kind of need on the board here, which it works out to be uh, fairly well, to be honest.